Hi guys, welcome back. I am Maya with Simply Bloom. So today I am working on laying down cardboard for a no dig, no till flower bed. I've been working on this flower bed. It's hard to see, it's right up against a gate, or not a gate, a fence. It stretches, I believe it's 120 feet all the way down to the bottom. You can see there's a pile of plants right behind my son there that still need to get planted. But I thought I would start the process. I have filmed videos on all of these plants going in the ground and I tell you what plants they are. So I will leave those videos linked down below. You can check them out. But now it's time for the next process of after I plant everything, I lay down cardboard and then I put mulch down. I did plant this. This was not on a video. Um, I had to get my husband to help me. This is a spruce baby blue. It's supposed to get 10 by 10, good down to 40 below, so zone three. Uh, the top actually broke off, which I love, and we're actually gonna keep it trimmed. So it's gonna hopefully stay into this little sphere. And I absolutely, love it i did grow up i did leave enough space because sometimes you know life happens and you don't <laughs> things don't go according to plan so i did leave some space between the spruce and the plant so if we don't keep on top of you know shaping and pruning and stuff it can go to its full size i do want to let it get to mostly its full size but i want to keep it in a ball form i absolutely love that so i have no idea how far i'm gonna get today i have all my helpers out with me i just holding my two-year-old he just turned two and he thinks he is mr independent so i have to keep tracking and chasing him down so we'll see how this goes bear with me it might be a few day project so let's just get started
okay you guys i'm pretty much done i can't remember this is either the fourth or the fifth day i didn't realize how big of a job this would be but let me kind of show you i'm running out of light i apologize okay i have this section and as you can see i have two different brands of mulch i bought out pretty much everything they had at both stores <laughs> Still wasn't enough i ran out but you can see it the like darker it's more of like a shredded mulch there and i love that dark color better and then this lighter stuff it's more like chips instead of the shredded so i mean once the plants grow and fill in you really can't see and then next spring i'm gonna get um, a bulk load and just kind of put an even layer on top to just even everything out but at least it's semi-finished for now <laughs> better than just grass and cardboard. I am sticking the cardboard under the fence. I'm gonna go out about a foot and lay mulch on that side too, just so the grass doesn't grow up through the cardboard. And then I do need to finish a little bit on the other side of the spruce, but there's that side. I still have a ton of plants. I made such a big mess, you guys. There's pots everywhere, chairs, cardboard. It's a wreck, but here's the other side and then there's a small oops there's like a small 10 foot section on the very end that needs mulch as well but for the most part i'm pretty happy with it it looks horrible right now because everything looks dead <laughs> oh uh those cypress look really good though I'm calling it a day. I am starving. I skipped lunch, worked right through. Uh, what I am going to do tomorrow, hopefully, once it's lighter out, I'm gonna come out mainly for my own uh, sake, but I want to give a tour of all the plants, even though they're dormant and they all look dead. <laughs> I wanna give a tour. I'll put pictures up on the screen. And then also for my mind, um, I try to put tags with them all, but I have a puppy and he's been going around ripping up the tags and chewing them all off so next spring if i have a question like what was that i can't remember um i can look it back at this video so stay tuned for that it's gonna be a big <laughs> big video to look up all those plant pictures but and like i said it won't look the best because everything's dormant all looks dead uh but it'll give us kind of an idea of what it will look like in the spring and then also for my like journal my garden journal log i like to have videos of everything so i can look back on in case i don't remember anything but that is it thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you next time bye